Okay, I have a scenario for you. You're going to a dinner party, and you've been asked to bring a bottle of wine. <laughs> you're not really a wine aficionado, so you go to the store, you don't know what to get, but then you see celebrity faces on wine. Should you Crazy. go there? Are they worth the hype? I'm here to break them down. Great to have uh, wine expert uh, Lauren Power on the show in studio for the first time Yay, ever. I know you did the virtual stuff. Uh, great, to, great to have you. Because this is a question that I ask all the time, too. Is it worth it? Uh, does it depend on the wine? Totally depends on the wine. So there's a couple key things that we want to look out for. Um, first, the celebrity, I always find, are they somebody who would be into wine, right? right. Is this like somebody that we know maybe is into that, that side of life? Okay. Um, or is this a completely random thing for them? Okay. Does the fit work? Do we, do we start with the, kind of the, start, the, the, yeah. the, 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 the random fit? Because yeah. this is one that is definitely something that you would see at the, at the LCBO, and that's yes. 19 Crimes, that's Snoop Dogg yes. right there. It's a California red. Yes. This is the, when I think of celebrity wines, this is the first thing that comes to mind. It is... You know, we're looking at the label. We see his face, of yeah. course, and we see Cali Red on it. Um, the for, the second thing we kind of want to look at is the involvement of the celebrity and the branding of everything, right? So here we see it's very you know, marketed. Yeah. Um, this to me, they do a really great job of the marketing behind this, the 19 Crimes brand. They've worked with some other celebrities too, like Martha Stewart. Mm. Um, and they do a really great job. They have this really cool AI aspect where you can actually scan the yeah. bottle and Snoop Dogg kind of comes to life and talks to you. It, it does a great job of bringing in that new generation we're into wine. Talking, we're not talking about the taste. Right? We're, talking about, <laughs> we're talking about the other stuff. So I see, and we don't have a glass of it. But again, that's the thing about wine. Like, so I get what you're, you don't love the wine as much as maybe some of the other wines. Yeah. But for somebody that doesn't really like wine, but likes kind of that story or likes coming into a dinner party exactly. with that one, exactly. it might work for them. Yep. Okay. Yep. It, it hits on everything we want from that kind of wine. Okay. Um, in terms of quality, I think we can do better at that price point. Okay. So let's get yeah. into some better quality yes. stuff. Let's go with this one Post right here. Post Malone. Post Malone? Yes. Okay. So again, doesn't scream a wine person? Totally. But right. when we get into the actual background of it, he's partnered with uh, winemaker Alexis Cornu, okay. who is an amazing winemaker from Provence. The third thing we want to look at is the region. So we're in okay. Provence, France, which is the place for rosé. Um, Snoop Dogg is, uh, was pretty involved in, you know, picking the winemaker yeah. um, and also in the bottle design, which I like. He, yeah. he stuck to, you know, what he was good at. So we, we have this uh, cross with the roses, which is actually a tattoo that he has on his face. Right. Um, but no yeah. face. You don't know if you exactly. don't know, if you don't know Post Malone, then you don't know that it's that it's his. That's his exactly. Okay. What about um, Sarah Jessica Parker? I didn't even know that she did wine. Yes. Okay. So what's this one? So region, we're in Marlborough, New Zealand, which is the place okay. for Sauvignon Blanc. So right. I'm giving her a point for that. Yeah. Um, and I, I actually really like this wine. It does everything it needs well, to for a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. If, if you know, yeah, if you know Sauvignon Blanc from yes. New Zealand, you, like, immediately. As soon as you smell exactly. it, right? So floral, so yep. fruity. Right really there. nice tropical fruit. It has really nice acidity in uh, the back end too. Great okay. food wine. So we like that. Yes, okay. I'm, I'm a fan. Price on that? Uh, this is about twenty three dollars. Twenty three dollars. Yeah, so okay, so in there with the other with some other. Yes, other ones. exactly. So we don't got too much time left. What John Legend? Yeah. Oh, okay. This one I'm actually a fan of as well. Really? Right. Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, this comes from the northern uh, coast of California, okay. um, so actually really great uh, region, so Rutherford, St. Helena, so the grape uh, selection is actually quite quite high quality, okay. uh, aged for oak in 18 months, um, and partnered again with a very well-known winemaker from the region. Okay, so, so big so big cab, though. Big cab, yeah, yes. Don't know, you just see his name on it, so it doesn't jump off. You'd really have to be looking at the shell to know that it's John Exactly, Legend. exactly. Okay. okay, and we finished with this one on the end. Another <laughs> one you kind of booked it, you booked ended book it with the two, right? Little, so yeah. Dancing with the Stars. So this, again, not, not my favorite, um, and this is kind of an easy one to spot. This is very branded, right? It's not even directly correlated to one person. It's, it's a brand. It's Dancing with the Stars. Um, Again. But you can get together with your friends. If yes. you're going to watch the show together, that's the ball that you're going to get exactly. and, you can, and you can enjoy it. And, exactly. that's, and, and that's the whole thing you have to tiptoe along with wine and being like snooty wine people. Yep. It can be for everybody. It can be for anybody. And it is for everybody. Right. Exactly. Um, love the topic. Yeah. Good stuff. Where can we follow you? Uh, Lauren Power underscore wine on Instagram. Great chat. Okay, good stuff. We'll hook it up with our website, cach.com slash morning live. And we have lots more of that coming up after the break. It smells of bread in here. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> Emily Richards? <laughs>